Yeah, I've been saving my coins. I've also been saving my fives, my ones, a couple of tens and twenties in there. Got some quarters over there, whole stack of wrapped pennies and rolled pennies, and all these coins right here, guys. What's up, YouTube family? It's your favorite fellow Earthling, Austin Hustler Hires. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how much money I saved up in the first six months just saving my change, my ones, my fives. I've got a few tens and a couple of twenties in here, but mainly just my change, ones and fives. I've been saving up for six months. I'm going to go ahead and basically share with you how much money that I've saved up in that six months and uh, what I plan on doing with this money and uh, how much longer I plan on saving this money until I spend it all on one thing that I've really wanted ever since I heard about it. I'll share that with you in just a minute. Let's get started with the video. Saving money is really, really important to me because without saving money, you can never grow and you can never have your money really work for you. What is a couple of bucks really gonna do for you to invest into anything? unless you turn that couple of bucks into a couple of hundred bucks and then a couple of thousands and then tens of thousands and hundreds of thousands of dollars and it all starts with a penny every single penny that you get and you save does add up and I'm here to prove that today as you can see I've got stacks and stacks and stacks of rolled pennies here I'm gonna go ahead and count and then I'm laying on a stack of ones and fives and then I'm going to go ahead and count what's underneath that. My nickels, my dimes, my quarters, and all the other pennies I haven't counted yet. So, it is very important. The point of this video is to prove to you guys that a penny does add up. Don't just pass a penny up if you see it on the ground, or a nickel, or a dime, or anything. Uh, a lot of this money I found in junk removables, and then all the other ones and change came from me spending my cash and getting that change back. Anytime I got ones, fives, or any kind of quarters, nickels, dimes, or pennies, I threw it into that jar you see right behind me. And after that jar got full, which is several months, <laughs> actually the jar was full probably two months ago, and uh, today, I didn't take a picture of it, but it was stuffed over the top. This thing was literally filled maybe like two inches over the top, just stacked up on this small uh, circle here. And I decided to make a video about it today to maybe inspire those people that have a hard time saving their money. And you can see here that the little bit of money I saved every single time I spent money adds up. So I'm gonna go ahead and count this money up so I can share with you guys how much money that is and then I'm gonna share with you how much longer I plan on to save this money, and then I'm gonna share with you what I plan on spending this money on as an investment that I've been waiting for, and I'm waiting for this item to even come out before I spend my money on it. Anyways, this is a lot of money. It's probably gonna take me a good hour to count it, so hold tight, check out this cool hyperlapse, and I'll be right back with you. So as far as wrapped coins already, I have $160 in just pennies and a couple of uh, wraps of $10, uh, $10 quarters. So $162 to be exact in wrapped coins so far. Now I'm going to count the um, cash that I have sitting here on the ground and then I'm going to count all the other coins and we'll see how much I have. Feel free guys to take a guess down below in the comments. How much money do you think this is going to be? I'll give you a good look at it there. How much money do you think this is going to be in the very end? Go ahead and comment down below before I give you the answer to test out your skills on how much uh, this would be estimated. Don't be afraid to give an estimated guess, guys. This is all just for fun and entertainment and to hopefully teach people how to uh, start saving money. You know, every little bit of money counts and um, this is going towards a very awesome cause and something I've been saving up for. Uh, for a while now so this is going to help add on to the money that I've been saving up uh, not only this change the dollars the fives the, the, all the quarters and everything I've been saving but 
also the money I've been putting away into stocks and other investments to accrue some more money to pay for this item I've really, really been wanting. Stay tuned to find out what the item is. And don't forget to hit that like button down below, guys. That's the thumbs up down below. It looks kind of like this right here. It's down below. It's either white or blue, depending on what device you are watching me on. Why? Because I said so. <laughs> Alright guys, so I've counted about $48 and quarter so far and I still have a lot more change to go. But all this counting is making me hungry and I need some food to feed my brain so I can keep counting. My wife said that she's got some hot dogs cooked up for me so there are my hot dogs. She's got them all covered up so the flies don't get them. I'm going to go ahead and chow down on this and I'm going to continue counting. All right, so I'm finished eating, and now I'm gonna continue counting, and I have my helper here, Osiris, and uh, he's gonna be counting the dimes while I finish counting the corners, the quarters, sorry, and then I'm gonna continue counting the pennies and the nickels. We'll see how much money we have here at the end, guys. Stay tuned, here we go. Counting money is no fun. It's literally like making my brain foggy. This is where I'm at. All the quarters and stuff that I counted. It doesn't look like we touched All the change and he's got his dimes over there and he's getting pooped as well. I'll let you know how much it is when I'm finished. Finally, day three of counting my change and my dollars and the fives. The only reason we took three days to do this is because I have children, and one of my children in particular, the youngest, Magnus, uh, like to just step all over my quarters when I organized them when I left the room, so we had to recount two different times, and yesterday I was out all day working and helping my mom uh, move. We have all the dollar bills and fives right there, which we counted out the other day. We've got all of our pennies that are already pre-rolled right there. We've got our stacks of quarters, some nickels, and some uh, gold $1 coins. Here are all the other quarters that I counted out. There are about $160 in quarters there. Then those are all the nickels, and then my son is counting all of the dimes currently. It is now one week after I originally counted that money, and I counted originally over $900. Minus the pennies, the single pennies, I gotta admit I did not take the time to count those. But I would think maybe $50 in pennies if we had to guess. So over $900 is what I actually counted in the money that I saved up between the change, the ones, and the fives. Also, I have an addition to make to that. I recently bought a snack machine for my Rage Room, and I will be making a video about that soon. If you don't know what a Rage Room is, go ahead and check out one of these videos up here, and uh, go to my channel, maybe watch some of my past videos, and see what that is all about. Don't forget to hit the like button while you're there. Make sure to subscribe and hit the notifications bell while you're looking through the channel, because we have some great videos on this channel to help men become better men. Anywho, I bought another snack machine, and with that snack machine came a lot of quarters. I don't think the owner knew it, but there was over $200 in quarters in the snack machine. So, I get to add that to my $900 in change, and that is over $1,000 in change, ones and fives that I have saved up in the last six months, guys. Literally pennies at a time, quarters at a time, nickels, dimes at a time, ones and fives. Even if I just counted my change, guys, I would have 
over $400 in just quarters, nickels, dimes, and pennies. And it just proves that if you save your money a little at a time, this is irrefutable proof that you can save money with pennies, dimes, nickels, quarters, and all that good jazz. If you guys just save your money, you can save up enough to make a worthy investment to make a legend to make a legendary business a legacy for yourself so make sure that you always save money that is super important if you want to be successful in life and also guys make sure to smash that like button for me right down below if you enjoyed this video and sorry it took so long for me to count that money it's just that i'm such a busy man and we're doing so much recently i had to go out in the field i just there was literally quarters all over my room for a whole week before I finished counting this. Um, but the moment you all have been waiting for is what I'm gonna buy with this money. I'm going to invest the money I'm saving into a Tesla Cybertruck. Not the single engine, not the double engine, not the triple engine, but the triple engine. I'm gonna invest into the tri-motor Tesla Cybertruck, which, was probably gonna, which is probably gonna come out in around 2022 and I cannot wait guys I am super excited I already put my down payment so I have my spot in line I don't know what number I am obviously but I just can't wait for the announcement or the email to come out saying hey your cyber trucks ready to be purchased and I'm gonna go pick that thing up and then I'm gonna make a video about it and then you guys can see the fruits of my labor and my saving and just being smart about saving your money and working your butt off to get what you want in life so make sure you guys do that and also again make sure you subscribe to the channel hit the notifications bell to get notified every time i put up a new video like this and until next time this has been austin hustle hires with epic hustle ethics we'll see you next time